Hey guys, I guess this is kind of like a confession cam. I'm just getting it off my chest. Not really a confession, just a... I need to talk about something that's really hard for me right now. So, last night was one of the hardest nights I've had as a mom. And I was putting Grace down for bed. And I fed her and did our normal nightly ritual. And... Uh, she just didn't want to go to bed and she was exhausted. She had refused to nap all day. So after holding her and rocking her and singing to her for about an hour, an hour and a half, um, my husband convinced me that we should try to sleep train her. He had tried to help earlier and she just doesn't want him at night. She won't go to sleep for anyone but me and I had to rock her and sing her and feed her. And um, he was right. It, I was creating a problem because I was making it where we can never leave and we can't, I can't go do anything because if she's tired and I'm not there, she won't sleep. So we let her cry and, and I would go in every 10 minutes give her a pacifier, give her the blanket, put my hand on her chest, and leave. And it only took about three times. Um, I made my husband go in the third time of doing it to um, for her to fall asleep. And then she responded pretty well to the same tactics through the rest of the night. But being a mom, while being one of the most rewarding things I've ever experienced in my life, a lot of people won't tell you that it's one of the loneliest things you'll ever do. Because no matter how much everyone is helping you, when your baby cries and can't sleep, you feel like you're failing them. And no matter how much the people you love are there and back you up and, and tell you that you are a good mother because you're attentive and loving and not neglectful, I mean, I, I know I take care of my daughter and I love her and I know that she feels loved. But when she cries and I can't fix it, I feel like the worst mother. And I feel like, how can I ever be what she needs? And how am I ever gonna take care of her from everything in the world that's gonna hurt her and come at her? So hopefully, out of all of this. I won't be the only one who has to be there to put her down. And hopefully she will let other people comfort her. And hopefully being awake in the middle of the night and crying won't mean that it's cuddle time with mom. And night will be a sleep time. And cuddle time with mom will be during the day when she's not taking naps. Last night I really felt like a failure as a mother. I felt like I could never be good enough for my daughter. And even though my husband looked at me and said, you are a good mother and you take care of her and you love her and your instinct to protect her is good. We just need to do some things a little differently so that she's not always dependent on you. Even though he was supportive and loving, it's hard to move past that. And it's hard to not feel alone. So, um, please understand that I, I did this not because I want anyone to feel bad for me because this is something that I'm working through. The, and this video is for me because I needed to say out loud that I felt like a failure so I can try to figure out why I feel like a failure when I'm not actually failing. When I do know my daughter feels loved and is so happy. But it's for me to say it out loud and to hear myself say it. And it's, it's for anyone else who feels alone and overwhelmed and like they're not good enough as a parent, even when they are and they have a support network around them that's telling them they are. And even when they do give more than everything they have to give to their child, when they give what their child needs, not just what they think they can give. 
this is so that any other parents out there who are good, supportive, loving parents who feel lost and alone and frustrated and I feel it too. Hopefully this helps someone. Because talking about it helped me a little bit. And if you liked what you saw in my last video, or it hit a nerve, or you want to hear more, please hit subscribe. And uh, if there's anything you want to hear me talk about, leave it in the comments. Let me know and I'll see what I can do.